Welcome everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Objects in Space. We have docked at um, this place, whatever it is. Uh, what was it? I can't remember. Anyway, we got a. We have a passenger over here, which is going to pay us a lot of money just to go to a close. To a uh, station that's really close by. I don't know what the catch is over here, but right now when we're hurting for cash, I'm gonna take pretty much everything we can. So they want to go to Columbus Central Trading Outpost. It doesn't even require a jump. If there's no asteroids here, uh oh, intercom. Let's see. Uh, excuse me, this is Fernando. My apologies. Apologies for what? Oh, for my being cut earlier. I was, I am in a rush. Uh, that was no problem. Good, good. I don't like to be a bother, just... Yeah, it's a difficult situation. There's someone very dear to me, an uncle of sorts. He, well, he contacted me, uh, uh, contracted some kind of degenerative muscle disorder working in the masculine mineral mines in Tega. The facilities there weren't up to the task, so I paid to have him uh, flown to Columbus Hospital. But I'm told his chances are very low. Maybe a 10% chance of survival? His surgery starts today, and I just couldn't bear it if I didn't get the chance to say goodbye, hence the urgency. I'm very sorry to hear that. I hope your uncle pulls through okay. But that's not the only reason. I don't have a steady income, you see, and in order to secure him transit papers, passage, and to pay for this surgery, I... Well, I took out loans from every bank I was able to. I have no way of paying those loans back, and I know it. Thing is, the banks I borrowed from do too. Now that they've realized my references were faked. Oh, great. So he's not going to pay us. So where does that leave you? You shouldn't have done that. Look, I'm... I know I'm done wrong. Whether my uncle survives his operation or not, this will likely be the last time I get to see him. I'm leaving Leo after this to head to the Outer Rim. So you're fleeing from your troubles? Judge me all you like. It doesn't matter. Nothing anyone does in these main systems matters to me anymore. I'll visit him on Columbus, then make my way. Maybe to the Par uh, Parsis People's Union, if I think I can stomach a military dictatorship. Or if that doesn't work out, maybe try and make a quick buck and devast a star. Let me just check, there's no... Okay, we're still in the good. The important thing, the only thing, is that I make it to Columbus one last time before I leave. I think you're making poor decision, but it's your life. I'll get you there as soon as I can. I'm so sorry to hear about your uncle. Thank you. Hmm. Well, I guess he's still gonna pay us, but I'm not sure. I think we got some messages in the meantime. Two messages. Let's see what we get. Uh, piloting tips and tricks. Oh yeah, that one. Those two vertical bars on your ship are power bars. Every time you use a ship system, it uses a power. Don't be constantly turning and using your main engines. If you find you're running out of power a lot while flying, try adding another battery to your ship. You get to decide which modules get turned on and your are off by entering EMCON mode. Try to point in the direction you want to fly inside a blue nebula. Oh, it's harder for people to detect your ship's main engines firing inside a nebula. Some, uh, same goes for course corrections and turns. Red and purple nebula and asteroid belts are not your friends. Get to know how many quick turns you can do. Okay. Canceling transport jobs. Oh. From Pennington to Columbus has been filled. I have a vessel already. Okay, good. Excellent. So let's uh, speed this up. Let's make sure that we don't crash into some asteroids. I have a feeling there's going to be more to this. There's a little moon there, I think. Moon. Faloma. When? Oh, yeah, around that star. Oh, no, around that, uh, yeah, planet. I was like, wait, a moon around a star? That's, that's not a moon. Okay, so there we go. I wonder if the banks are gonna come after us with that, uh, with those credits he owes them. We'll see. Okay, we're almost there. Turning around to uh, do a retro burn. Okay, there we go. Talking clamps extended. As soon as the uh, pressure is equalized. Let's talk to him one more time. 
Thank you for the trip, Captain. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking me urgency, uh, my urgency seriously. You're welcome. Here is your fears agreed. I must be off now. I can't take that. You clearly need this money badly. Uh, yeah, I know. I, 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 I can't take it. Sure, I'm struggling, but, but we agreed. You saved me. You gave me the lift. I have to pay you. I insist. A situation like yours, you go be with your uncle. Forget about the money. Just hope uh, you're okay after all this. Please, the last thing I want is to leave the central system behind and feel indebted. But you're literally doing that. You said yourself you ripped off half the banks in the system. You really don't have to. I'll be fine. Yeah, you, you, you don't have to. Oh, okay. I mean, I budgeted for this, but... Yeah, I guess it will help. I still have no idea I'll make it out on the outer rim, so thank you. It's no problem, really. I should go. Find my uncle. Thank you, Captain. I won't forget this. Well, maybe we'll meet him again. I mean, it's, yeah, we're a hundred in the in the red, but oh well. I'm I'm a sucker for this stuff. Okay, I can't have people in games even uh, be in such oh medicines. You know, have this stuff happen to them, and I just say, yeah, give me the money. Oh God, we have a twenty six hundred. That's not great. Contracts. Wait a sec, uh, don't we have... Oops. Oh yeah, we have this, okay. That's good, because that's, uh, still something we can do. Contracts. United Leon, uh, that's tomorrow, I'm not interested in that. Unfortunately... There's not much else here. Wait a second, oh yeah. So let's check that, let's request permission to go. Let's check that mail. Uh, where was it? This one. From Penitent Commercial. Isn't that we? Are, no, we are not there. We can go there though. Six hours from pickup. Sterling to Tega. That's where we need to go anyway, right? Uh, Tega. Yep. So. Wait. Um. Crawford Port. Port Crawford, and this one is going Sterling Industry Tega. Okay, let's actually reply to this. Uh, I'll take your cargo job. Let me know any other details. Excellent. I'm assuming I'll get a reply. Yep. Uh, let's refresh it. There we go. Welcome to Sterling Indus Industrial on Eminence Holdings, uh, Holdings Company. You will be working with us in transporting a variety of goods to and from the Tega system, with large quantities going in and out of blah 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 blah. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't seem like we got the job. I don't know, but let's go. Let's un undock. I mean, we're just losing money at the moment, docking and undocking, but I kind of felt good about. Uh, Transporting him and yeah, penitent commercial. That's where we need to go. I do wish we had some cargo right now, but oh well. So let's see. Did we get a reply? If not, we'll just go. Okay, there she is. Uh, only that it has to be handled immediately. We need the cargo picked up from penitent within the next six hours and delivered to Sterling Industrial within six hours from the pickup time. Our last freelancer fucked us. You get this done, I'll set you up as a regular fr freelancer for Sterling. But you screw this up and that's how your shot with us is blown. Ah oh, yeah, okay. No options to uh, reply. Right, so we need to get there within six hours. Of course, that's easy because it's only six minutes to get there. Let's uh, speed things up. This place is really nice. There's no horrible, uh, horrible asteroid belts and such. There's some uh, nebula, which... Not really important because I don't think there's much uh, pirate activity here at all. That's a big star. Leo. Leo Galante. Uh, does anyone... Does anyone uh, recognize that name? Leo Galante? Man, that was a good game. That was a fun game. Crassus Harbor Space Station. I think Sol means solution. RCTR... 
reactor. Oh yeah, that's the reactor. IFF is IFF. Friend, uh, you know, identify friend or foe. LDT is not sure what that is. Um, see any of the ships? LDT no. Type merchant. So there we go. That's pretty cool. You can see that the reactor is live. IFF is live. Their dry. Uh, the RCS is live because they're turning. Oh, they're going to scan us. That's fine. And their drive was uh, active there before. There we go. They're burning. Let's see when it shuts off. Oh, they're still, still going. Attention of freighter El Camino, prepare to be scanned. But of course, there we go. We're about to uh, do a retrograde. Well, not retrograde, we're a uh, retro burn. Okay, let's go pick that stuff up. Uh, you cannot click on the spacesuit, so I don't know. I'm assuming you never really go out into space around your ship. That's another hundred credits down the drain here. All right, contracts. Uh, United Leon Space Enterprises, EVA suits from Penitent Commercial to Angoda Giant Gasworks in Maru. Wait, that the one? Timeline 36. No, 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 that's not the one. Sterling Industries. There we go. Six hours from pickup. Okay. 800 credits on delivery. Excellent. Uh, Penitent Commercial to Sterling Tega. Does anyone... Does anything else go to Tega? No. These two go, uh, both go to La Lagrange. That would be great, but oh well. We're taking this one. So now we have six hours to go there. Um, better go, I suppose. Passengers. Olga, Adari Station, Atea, Canada Central. No. None of them go where I want to. So let's pay the fees, request permission, and get out of here. Undock. And we're going to Tega. Just going to double check that. Tega system. Yep. Industrial outpost. Engage. So we're going from Leo to Tega. And the lines over here are obviously jump gates. They're connected via jump gates and all these others are not. So we will, we will need a jump drive. Okay. Let's uh, speed things up here. I gotta be careful there's no asteroids around, because asteroids can really make your day bad. It's not very nice. Quadrant C. Pembroke. Military. Ooh. Headliner cut class. Not really sure what that is. We have some more news. A joint statement today by Dr. Jerome Bissett and Dr. Kaiko Nakamura, head of the Cassini Research Laboratory and Cassini Terraforming Project, respectively, confirms that the project is significantly behind schedule. I just noticed I wasn't paying attention whether there's asteroids here or not. Fortunately, there aren't. Okay, let's do the time comp I think time compression goes to one uh, when you dock anyway, and when there's danger around. Okay, so let's pay more fees. Sinking magneto, uh, magnetic jump locks. You can see that we have a bit of a drain because a reactor is off. But now we have short power. Okay, so it's 60 credits. Let's jump. I do like that jump sound effect. That's really cool. Let's double check. We have to go to uh, industrial outpost. Sterling industrial outpost. Our IFF is still active. That's good. Okay. Uh, so this is the top level. It's probably somewhere over here. Sterling Industrial Outpost. Perfect. Wow, look at the stars. There's it's a binary system. Any more stars here? No, there's two yellow stars. That's us, by the way. That little blinking thing. We're in quadrant A. I think it goes A, B, C, D, if I'm not mistaken. And that's us. And right next to us is a jump gate. And that's another jump gate. Not really sure what that blue thing is. Hmm. What is that? No idea. Anyway, here's the... Kayu station and starting industrial outpost. 
Now again, I do have to be careful about asteroids and such. I don't think they will be here, but let's see this news. Following the Cassini study undertaken by Professor Katya Antonova in 5-10A, a massive undertaking on the part of the Apollo Earth Authority was undertaken. Cassini was to become the first planet to be transformed for human habitability. The decision was made when dread and angst were setting in amongst the early colonists. System after system showed plan, uh, planets with radioactive atmospheres, unbreathable air and a dearth of useful resources for settlement. Figuring that a beacon of hope was needed, Antonova pushed for funding from the AEA and other sources to create the first Earth-like world in Apollo. That promise of breathable air and freely growing vegetation was heralded as a visionary move by the public even while authorities at the time, and a swath of interstellar detractors, decried the investment as too costly when more immediate needs had yet to be filled among the colonists. The project was to take four decades to complete. Now, Antonova's successor, uh, Bizet and Nakamura, are confirming that 24 years into the project, there may be another few decades yet to come before it bears fruit. Oh, so they are doing it. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good idea, I would say. Alright, let's uh, speed things up. I don't want to speed things up when I'm off the helm and we're flying through unknown... That's probably a false positive. We're flying through unknown space because you, s you see this thing over here where all of this... All of these... Uh, all of the grid is actually fog of war and we're uncovering the space and learning it so if there's an asteroid field here and we don't know about it well you know if i'm reading the news at two times the speed it's it's not a good idea because it's gonna go boom although like i said i do believe the ship does warn you of that that's authority they'll probably come around to scan us and of course i'm assuming if you go too close to a star it's not very good because over here, as you can see on the bottom, whole temperature is zero degrees. So I'm assuming that starts uh, climbing if you uh, get too close, if you start overheating. And I'm assuming that temperature doesn't actually work until it starts overheating because I seriously doubt the t whole temperature is constantly at zero degrees in space. I mean, this, this left side that's turned towards the... Well, now it's the right side. That's turned towards the star is probably a lot hotter than the other side. Oh. Okay, so we're docking, and we've brought that stuff. Let's see how much... Oh, we have one hour left! Ah! How did... So this takes a lot longer than usual. What the hell? Our deliver contract. Oof. What the hell? I thought it was real time, but it's not, I suppose. What the hell? Okay, what does she want? Stare and Alice. Say! Are you headed to Leo anytime soon? Leo? Oh, come. Seaball. Huh? You haven't heard? I thought you space fatting types heard everything. It's the latest thing in Leo. I guess I must have missed it. It's this whole microgravity thing. You play in a sphere. What are the rules? Well... To be honest, I'm not completely sure. I mean, we don't have it here yet, but that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Isn't that more Swedish? I don't know. You... what is it you want? I want you to take me to Leo. I can pay, don't worry. My father has promised to pay my fare and for any equipment I need. Where in Leo? Crassus. That's convenient. I understand there are teams forming everywhere, so it won't be too difficult. And your father is willing to pay for this? Why? He wants me to follow my dreams. If this is what I want, why should, shouldn't I try? Because, I don't know, but you'll pay me, so maybe I don't need to know. Yes. Correct. I'll pay you 980! Yes, we do have a deal. Don't back out of it. Lovely. I'll meet you on board. Wow, well, that's just a transport to Leo. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Okay. Uh, so we still have to go to that place here, uh, Port Crawford, but she doesn't seem to be in a huge hurry, so we can do that. Okay, so let's first see if anything goes... Oh yeah, where, do, where does she want to go? Uh, passenger... 
Crassus and the Leon. Okay, so does anything go to the Crassus station? No, of course they don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Six computers. There we go. Crassus, time limit 12 hours. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of that because uh, we still have to go to another station. It's only 170 as well, but it would cover our docking fees. Hmm. Can we get anything over here? No, everything is out of system. That's a bit of a bit of a shame, isn't it? I suppose I could take out a loan and buy a jump drive. Hmm. I wonder if I should do that. It's about 5,000, isn't it? Man, I love this game. It's so much fun. Bloody hell, this is expensive. Five and a half thousand? That's really expensive. I would need... Well, two loans for this. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I think I'll... I mean, the jump drive does uh, save you time and money in the long run. Because you don't have to pay for uh, jump gate fees. And it allows you to... Not use... Well, to go everywhere, pretty much. Let's pay the fees. And let's request permission. Let's undock. Also get the new stuff here. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.